Good afternoon. My name is Dan Berkeley, and I am the owner of uh, the Rug Market, which is a 77-year-old business uh, in Aranaquate. Um, our business was started in 1932, and we're 77 years old this year, and we're the oldest uh, flooring store in Monroe County. Um, I I'm here today because I love this state. Um, we have uh, three children. Um, and they have, uh, we have, we have 13 grandchildren among them, and all of these guys lived outside of state and moved back here because they wanted to be with family. And I'm here to fight for the, um, the state that, that, that I love and to try and change the things to make it a better place to be. And, and I know this can be changed. Um, so th that's, that's the, re the spirit and the reason that I come here uh, today. Um, in 1990, the pro proposed New York State budget was $50 billion. I, on, um, so that's, I, I remember that uh, from visiting Albany, and, and I was appalled at that amount of money that was, uh, um, was being spent at that point. And I'm hearing, I, I put $131 billion as the amount we have this year. I don't know if it's 130 or 131, but it's a heck of a lot more money than it was back in 1990. The cost of living hasn't risen that much. Um, and we, we are spending way beyond uh, the means that we have to uh, keep us sustaining this, this amount of revenue. We all know that. How do businesses like the rug market survive in times like this? We do it by reducing our debt. We do it by not spending all the profits but leaving it in the business so that we can weather a storm when we have a downturn like this. And we have no debt in our company. Um, we have own our own building. Um, but we still have a lot of expenses that we are incurring because of, uh, of the economic climate, the, the sales tax on our business. Uh, um, uh, we, we collect, and, for, and, and I actually mean the property tax um, is, is something that um, somebody's touched on before, but that's an issue that I want to touch on too. There's no correlation between what we pay in, in, in property taxes or any business pays in property taxes um, to the, the, the revenue that's coming in the door. Um, we've had decreased sales this past year. Um, as many businesses have, um, and we still are, are forced with the same revenue that we have to pay out, and it's just not fair. Um, New York State starts programs when times are good and adds new taxes and fees when we have a downturn. I call it the seesaw effect. Um, when things are good, we start all these programs, and then when things are bad and we can least afford them, we wind up um, not being able to pay for them. We have to raise revenue at a time uh, when, when we really can least afford it. Um, I just received a bill for $50 um, to recertify the rug market to collect sales tax. Um, the, the, our business has been a business a long time. My father incorporated the business when he purchased it in 1958. This is the first time this bill has come through. This is it's unconscionable. Um, on top of this, higher fees uh, f for other things like driver's licenses, auto registrations, fishing, fishing licenses, and many others too numerous, too, too, too numerous to mention. Um, my wife is a nurse. She, she paid $15 when she uh, um, had to register uh, the first time uh, 30 years ago, and um, she's probably going to kill me for that statement, but um, $60, 60 or $80 this year um, every two years. Um, these are just a big, big hit. I mean, we, the legislators in New York should be embarrassed to, to put these things out, especially now when we're all hurting. Um, it's terrible. Um, I talked about the property taxes, um, about our sales decreasing. We have people losing their jobs, uh, people who are, are, are being uh, paid less money than they were before because businesses are trying to um, uh, balance their budgets and try to keep uh, costs within means. And, and, and we get people that are kind of tax scoff laws now because they're not paying their property tax. Well, they haven't got the money to pay it. Um, at least an income tax, um, you're, you're, you're charged on what you have uh, your income is. And this is forcing many of us to, to, to leave our state. And we have reasonable housing prices here, but um, they've probably been kept reasonable because we've had such high property taxes that, the, that if you ever raise them high enough, you'd never be able to pay the, the taxes that are on there. Um, we've had a lot of years of study with the Swayze um, um, uh, uh, Commission. Um, and, and nothing has come out of this yet. I mean, it just seems like no inaction. Um, we've also had no action on ethics reform, campaign finance reform, drawing fair and reasonable boundary lines for affected officials. And we got a, a, a line for Louis Slaughter that stretches from, uh, what is it, five feet wide from here to Buffalo. Um, these are, are, are things that are done to keep incumbent people in, 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 uh, um, and, and try to force people out. Um, 
I am aware that we have many elected officials that want changes, but New York State Assembly and Senate as a body is not changing, or are they going to change unless they're forced to? We need to change the rules. We need a constitutional convention run by unelected citizens to change the rules. We need it now. We cannot wait until 2016, which is the next time that uh, this is up for a vote. Uh, um, we've, in 96 it was turned down. We have, have the ability to, be to do this every 20 years. And we, we, need to, we need action. We need to change the rules and we need to give the legislators that are there the teeth to be able to do the job. We can't have three men in a room operating this whole state. Um, it's, it's bad. It, it, it brings corruption to our, our government. And um, this is what's happening. It's corrupt what's happened. We're supposed to be a, a government of the people by the people. We are not that. Um, I, I'd like to close in thanking you for both for coming here. And uh, we really need help. We need to do something now. We cannot afford to keep doing the things the way we have been doing them in the past. Um, thank you.